We've been friends for over a decade. I feel like I feel like by the time we're done with like the podcast and all these interviews, someone's gonna do like a super cut of every time we've said <laughs> over a decade, 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 over a decade. I don't know, over a decade. We met at the Williamstown Theater Festival. We were both in a production of Our Town together. And the first three days of rehearsals, we wore the exact same outfit. And it wasn't just like a normal jeans and t-shirt kind of thing. They were very involved fashion choices that were too bizarre to be so specific. So on the last day, the third day, we both were wearing a white like lace dress with a flannel tied around it and red converse and we both clocked it realizing that this was the third time that this has happened and we uh, became best friends. It was exactly that. I mean, I'm surprised I didn't walk right up to you and go, hi, my name's Jessie, will you be my best friend? Like it was the first day of <laughs> kindergarten or something. But it was like that type of friendship. It was just instant and, uh, and yeah, we've been glued at the hip ever since. Three words for Jesse. Hilarious, stunning, thoughtful. That's nice, thank you. My three words for Brie are curious, reliable, and honest. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I remember gosh. wrapping Christmas presents at Bree's house one year and we were both really broke and couldn't afford heat and so we had, my, my Christmas present to Bree that year was a space heater and we sat in front of her <laughs> fireplace with a space heater in her fireplace to keep warm and we wrapped all these Christmas presents and it's just a memory that I cherish and I'm grateful for. That's when we started getting really good at wrapping and I still get compliments on how good I am at gift wrapping. <laughs> you are very good was, at gift wrapping. But you are too. And it's. I think it was that Christmas because I think we were broke and so we had to spend, we couldn't just like throw money at gifts for our friends and family. We really had to think about it. It was like our first for, foray at like being adults, living on our own. like. And so we like crafted things, we made things and we were super thoughtful. I think about, uh, we used to have a routine of going to the farmer's market every Sunday and buying stuff to have really long brunches and we would do the Sunday crossword puzzle together um, and just hang out and it was just pancakes and scrambled eggs always mixed with whatever we could, we could get at the farmer's market and um, that was just a huge routine. I was also thinking about one time driving up north, we were driving up to go to um, a mushroom festival. We were like listening to this band Love uh, and their album Forever Changes, which is like a huge staple in our friendship. And we just pulled the car over and blasted the music in the car and just like danced like on the side of, of the edge of Northern California. You know, we've been all over the place together and in a lot of weird situations through many fashion choices, through many <laughs> partner choices, you know, when you're with friends, when you're friends with someone for that long, you, you see a lot. <laughs> Yeah, another memory I really cherish is this one time I was having a really, really terrible day and Brie made time to come over. Uh, she was able to actually reschedule something that was happening at work so that she could come to my house and she brought beads and craft equipment and all these fun things. And then she was like, what do you want to do? And I was like, all I want to do is watch a Mary-Kate and Ashley movie. And so she spent at least 30 minutes trying to figure out how to download this Mary-Kate and Ashley movie. And they by the were time- nowhere. <laughs> and, and by the time she got it uploaded, I had fallen asleep. And so then I was stuck in bed next to her watching Passport to Paris by myself, which was not a situation I thought I was going to be in that day, but it wasn't a no. It was a good vibe. <laughs> not no. Hey there, little darling. Hey there, little darling. Which I don't even know where that came from, but usually I feel like it's when we're in like a not great situation. It's like, hey there, little darling. You're probably screwing up this interview, but I still love you and you're my best friend, you know? And we'll just like make up a song about whatever's going on. You know, hey there, little darling. This party's really lame, but I'm with you and it's okay. You know, we just will make up a song about it. So hey there, little darling has really... I don't know where it started, but it has not ended. <laughs> I think it started on that same road trip up north. I think we were going on a hike and we just started singing it to ourselves and it's a catchy tune. We gotta copyright that. Hey there, little darling. 
Oh no, what if I misspell something? It's gonna be so embarrassing. I was already adding into this, it's okay if you misspell things. <laughs> You're definitely gonna have to have me read mine because my cursive is, I have to write, when I write letters to Jessie, it's like I have to send her an audio note of what I said in it. <laughs> That's true. I wrote, Brie, you are the most compassionate and present friend you have made me a better person and have brought an immeasurable amount of joy to my life. You're welcome. And thank you. I'm stunned. I thought, were you, weren't you gonna misspell something? <laughs> <laughs> I think immeasurable is misspelled and possibly okay. compassionate. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here's mine. I started writing like this on purpose so that if anyone ever found my journals, they wouldn't know what they said. <laughs> Jessie girl, you are my best friend. That means seeing each other at our best, worst, and sometimes even when we misspell things. <laughs> I love you forever, and forever is a darn long time. Thank you for listening, learning, growing, and holding my hand. I love laughing, crying, and doing both at the same time with you. Dang, how did I get so lucky? Thank the heavens we had the same style in 2010. I love you. I love you too. I've got more. What do you mean you got more? You oh did my God. funny. You wrote you wrote a letter. Oh, tell me. I wrote, Bree, you have great handwriting. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, um, my hidden talent is how I put on eyeliner. I roll it out really far and then I just stick it in my eye and I go like this. You just close your eye and go back and forth. And then I go like this, stick it in my eye, and I just go like this. Don't even need a mirror. And that's how you get eyeliner in your waterline. Lovely. It's lovely. You're welcome. <laughs> I do it on set and people are like, that's crazy, why are you doing that? <laughs> Wait, so your eye is closed and you just stick it in there and rub it around? Does it get in your eye? Yeah, so you, um, I mean, it's in your eye, but basically I start on the side, close my eye, and then go back and forth, and then it gets both the top and the bottom. Nice. I can do this. Oh, wait. I can do that too. Okay, then I have to come up with a new one. The problem is that I'm so proud of myself whenever I have a talent that I just make everybody know about it. There are very few <laughs> hidden talents of mine. I'm like, have you heard about my talent? Um, but let's you can see. Do, you can do your clover, your clover tongue, and I can be like, wow, how do I do that? <laughs> uh? I'm taking a really abstract approach. Oh, good, me too. I'm just so looking far, at you and, and drawing just without looking at the page. Oh, nice. I'm not looking at you and not drawing you as a person. Lovely. I'm in shock over the, I'm in shock over my drawing. I unfortunately looked down. <laughs> you honestly won't, you can't. You just, you can't believe what happened. It looks nothing like you. However, it does look like it could be a character in some sort of new, like, indie cartoon. <laughs> oh yes, she's ready for her indie cartoon moment. She's an indie cartoon. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Um, you look like you were, because you were looking down at the page, it looks like you're going, <laughs> but you weren't doing. You were not doing that, to be clear. Um, I'm, I'm proud of mine. I'll be sure to give you a compliment. Oh my gosh, yes. That's, that's yeah, actually I helped, spot on. I helped uh, explain who you are by writing, I am Brie. It makes sense. It makes complete sense, and I appreciate mm -hmm. it. And these might look like eyes, but they're really giant ears. No, I knew that they were ears. Okay, good. Can you see me okay, Jesse? I can see you fine. Just don't make me lift my arms because I'm really sweaty. <laughs> How dare you?
friendship game made me feel seen, vulnerable, deeply connected with Brie. I feel like we just fit an entire extra year of our friendship into a mere few minutes. And from now on, I think I'll say that I've known her for over a decade plus. But Jesse, honestly, how dare you? You know <laughs> that I, that my number one vulnerability in our friendship is I don't know if you're in a bit or not. And I don't know if that was a bit. So I'm just going to go with the sincerity approach that you also taught me, which is if you're with a comedian and you don't know if they're doing a bit, just be sincere. <laughs> <laughs> I had a really great time and I'm happy to teach you the eyeliner trick I mean I just feel like I've learned a lot it's just amazing it's amazing you can know someone for so long and still find new bits of information that you didn't know agreed thank you glamour so much thank you thanks glamour thanks for having us <laughs>